Okay, so as mentioned in the title, this entire hall, which is massive, I think I got over 35 items. I think I might have gotten 38 items to from this one Salvation Army. I was there for roughly three hours, um, and I can milk it because I know this. I swapped, I shopped the men's shirts, the men's pants, the women's pants, and the outerwear, which there's a huge section of outerwear right now because they're offloading everything that they had stocked up that they didn't put out during the summer. So, um, yeah. I am able to get in a crazy haul like this. I don't know if you are, but I'm fortunate to be able to do so. So, let's start. First item is this pair of Nike potentially rain pants. Um, they're size large, uh, $5, I'll, I'll explain this for a second. Um, they are like windbreaker type pants. This type of more technical stuff, especially the technical pants from Nike, I tend to pick up. Oh, and um, Wednesday, so I get the 25% off coupon. Uh, so I only spent $160 on all of this, uh, which is really good. It was $4 a piece. Um, and so this cost me $5. Orange tags were half off. I think I only got three of those items, but um, I'm just going to show you that even though it says $5, I'm going to say $3.75 because that's you know, what 25% off of five would be. Um, so I'm not going to, I don't want to have to say that every time. So I'll just show you the number and I'll say $3.75 because that's what I did in the back. Next is this. This is a half off. One of the one of the three half offs, six fifty. So half off of that, twenty five percent off of that for an Eddie Bauer, like kind of quilted. I don't know if this technically qualifies as quilted um, jacket. It's a women's small, but it was half off, which is as I showed you, and as I mentioned, size small. I figured I'd get this Eddie Bauer outerwear is pretty safe if you can get it for cheap enough, and it is polyester fill, but I don't know, should be safe. Probably minimum 15 plus shipping on that. Likely at least 20. This was $4.88. And it's New With Tags Champion um, hoodie. And it's also, I believe, vintage. Unless this is some more high quality line since it's made in USA. But that tag doesn't look vintage. So I don't know. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to call it vintage because it's made in USA. And I don't think Champion does anything made in USA anymore. Either way, still a good piece, especially the new with tag part. Oh, is this a, forget, is this an XL? This might be a girl's XL. Unless it's a women's? I don't know. Still shouldn't be that big. Um, you know with that. This was probably the riskiest buy that I got. This is We the Free, which is a subline of free people, size 27, destroyed slash distressed jeans, for four dollars um and the numbers on this was actually pretty bad but um i know that worst case scenario if these don't sell any they can put them on poshmark and they will sell because free people is you know it has the deal with poshmark so their stuff sells really well on poshmark even though i don't really like to sell there these are orvis khaki pants for again 375 and the sell-through is about 50%, but it looks like I should be able to get at least 25 on these. This is something that I say, Orvis is not a brand that I'm particularly fond of, um, but this is a, a relatively unusual piece for them. You typically don't find Orvis pants in general, at least I don't, and um, I figured they might be in higher demand or worth more money, one of which was true. This was, okay, so this was, I guess, another risky buy, but I've... This brand is associated with another brand that I like a lot, Haupt, Haupt H-A-U-P-T, which is German. Barcelino, Italy, made in Italy. Barcelino, whatever, whatever. This brand, I believe, is a house brand of a distributor, and the distributor um, distributes Haupt, which sells for good money. Um, and this is, I found a piece for them before, but it had holes in it, so that's why it didn't sell. It was a long sleeve polo. This is a full zip almost argyle. I don't know if I can qualify that as argyle, but sweater. Um, so this should be pretty high quality. And you know, I'm going to check. This might be a cashmere blend. Let's see. It is, no, it's a, it's just wool acrylic, but the brand retails for crazy money. 
I've like this stuff retails for like three hundred, three four hundred bucks. There's just not really that much of a market for it on eBay. Although that item is unique, I don't think there's anything on that on eBay. The brand is there, but it's relatively unknown. This is uh, Aspen's. I don't remember what this is. Some athletic club, and it's vintage, 2012 um, or 2000. Just 2000. I can't speak. And I p picked it up because it is champion. And it is Vintage Champion, it is not only just Vintage Champion, it is Vintage Champion Reverse Weave. Um, reverse Weave is relatively higher dollar, but the Vintage Reverse Weave can be worth crazy amounts of money sometimes. It's probably not worth more than 40 but should flip pretty reliably from, for that if I just price it there. The demand is not crazy high. Another vintage piece, this one I didn't know, but I looked up because it looked like something that might be in demand. It's not really in demand, but this might sell for over $80. What does it say? Uh, Camel Pro. The There's only one sold for these sweatshirts, but the shirts have sold for over $80. I think I saw one in the, around the $100 range. I uh, paid $48 for that. Seems to be relatively flawless. Um, yeah, it's got that like weird... I like vintage aesthetic with that pocket there. Feels like it's something that would sell maybe better on a platform like Depop or something, but I'm not gonna bother to list it there. A pair of potentially ripstop. I don't know if that's actually ripstop, but they are hiking pants for Mountain Hardware. These outdoor brands will be a theme as you will see throughout this video. Um, size women's, size eight, which is 32 waist. These have a slight discoloration on the leg that you're not gonna be able to see, but it was 375 so yeah 375 should be a pretty easy flip for minimum 20 plus shipping these long pants from Mountain Hardware do quite well this was actually um mispriced this was only two dollars and sixty three cents which when it normally is priced at around nine I think which would be six dollars and fifty cents it's a but maybe women's I think it might be women's because it's really small Chaps sport coat. I, I typically don't ever pick up chaps, but this, uh, as you can see there, this should sell for around 20, 15 to 20 plus shipping. Because if you can get sport coats for cheap, I typically pick them up in general. You can just flip them for around the 15 to 20 dollar mark plus shipping, and they flip relatively fast at that price point because that's pretty much the lowest anybody is ever going to price one of their sport coats. Even something like a Stafford, if you can pick it up for really cheap, I typically just buy it because it's a little longer tail, but it's a very safe investment. This was a really good find. This is another one of those outdoor brands. This is the first time I've found these technical hiking pants slash capris from them. It's Prana. These are, yeah, as I said, like hiking capris. Anything remotely outdoor technical, especially in the bottoms from Prana, I would just pick up really high sell through on them pretty much perennially um and i i never have trouble flipping that i did say i found that's the first time i found the capris is what i meant when i said that i've found other pants but the capris i would assume i didn't look it up the capris i would assume are still very high sell through okay uh this is a brand that i have not seen in a while everlane and these are jeans i did not bother to look these up figure should be worth like 20 probably 25 plus shipping size 29 by 30 i know everlane's a good brand not an unconditional buy for me but for four bucks i'm not going to say no even without looking it up i'm going to say yes to that this was i guess technically another risky buy but not really i don't know if these are branded or not these might be military standard issue but i picked them up because i saw this so that is that says gore seam anything gore i would say probably pick up especially when it costs you less than four dollars um gore seam gore-tex anything uh gore is the company that produces gore-tex i recently found a pair of under armor um pants worth probably 25 plus shipping which is crazy for you know, that brand because they had gore-tex windstopper tech it is a Vero, I believe, so I would be worried about... I, I would be wary about putting it in your titles, but... I'm going to try to figure out what this is, if it is military standard. And if it is, probably one of the higher dollar ones, because 
Gore-Tex is very expensive stuff. And the Gore seal is probably made out of Gore-Tex. Okay, this is a brand I haven't picked up in a long time. It is a streetwear brand as the... I believe that's Japanese, because streetwear typically has Japanese on it, but that says I, or I in Japanese would be I in Chinese, just means love as, you know, is clear. It is... Riot Society should sell for 20 plus shipping. Over 100 doesn't sell here on these. Um, hoodies. I might even wear this. I'm not the type of person to wear this, but I do think it's very comfortable. I don't know why that this this hoodie is comfortable. Normally, the streetwear stuff is really uncomfortable, at least to me. This was another one of the half off items. It's uh, so you know, less than I think two bucks, or no, less than less than three bucks. It's Eddie Bauer, another Eddie Bauer piece, and it is a size women's medium, and it has that. I don't know if that's significant. That might be like a, I thought that was the first Ascent logo, but normally the first Ascents have the name of them. This one I should be able to look the style code up for. It's a full zip hoodie. Pretty safely minimum 15 plus shipping, probably 20. Here is a vintage, vintage Prana full zip. And um, that logo there, the, the, this is the vintage Prana logo. Um, that, I don't think everything, every Prana piece that has that logo is vintage, but this one definitely is, as it's made in USA. Um, but it is their older logo, and it's this fleece thing with this, whatever that is, that almost looks unfinished. But, yeah, I don't know how much this is worth. Safely 25 probably. Ne second time I found this, I did not expect to find this in a long time. Rag and bone jeans, size 26, are really small. This is indigo color, so these might be worth a lot if they are actually hand dyed indigo. Um, but I just picked it up. They have its ankle frayed, but should be worth at least 20 plus shipping. The small size means I'm probably going to price it down just to move it. <sighs> okay. This is a Nike. Dry fit large, I believe it's large, but I think it might be a youth large because this is kind of small. Um, still worth it though because of that embroidery. That's the French Football Federation, which I looked up. Pretty good numbers on this. Should be worth minimum thirty. Uh, and the sell through was around eighty percent, so I'm pretty happy with that. These are Levi's black. I think they might be brown. I don't know. Lighting is not great. Black 514s, and they are corduroy. Did not bother looking these up. Corduroy Levi's, especially in 514s, a middling cut, not super high selfie, but the corduroy is definitely worth it. Um, Levi's corduroy jeans in general, I would probably pick up if you can get it for $5 or less. Even the boys' stuff I would probably pick up, just because it tends to be in high demand and tends to be worth a bit more. These are Madewell's with the material tag cut off, so, mm, but the style code is there, so, yeah. And I think they, or no, the, no, the, the, no, the material tag isn't cut off, but they are actually Lyocell blends, so I bothered to pick them up because Lyocell is pretty in demand. Um, and uh, it's Tencel is the brand, but they use Lyocell because they don't want to use the trademark. Madewell jeans for four bucks. Pretty easy no-brainer. One of the best finds here. Uh, Mountain Hardware Windbreaker. I don't know what size. Cost me 48. In a purple and they're ripstop. It's ripstop. Easy, easy buy, no-brainer. Easy money. This was a higher dollar, slightly longer tail find. It's this McDonald New Zealand brand. I don't know what the size is. I don't even know if it has a size, but it's this wool sweater vest full zip and it's got that leather brand thing there should be worth at least 40 probably 50 or 60. um this is a brand that i've sold before saint craw knits i sold a long sleeve knit polo shirt for them in a couple days because i accepted an offer for an 18. uh this is a much more high dollar much higher dollar piece it's a another sweater vest full zip sweater vest this it's really heavy too. I don't. What's the material? 100% wool. So I don't know. Seems it's flawless too. Doesn't seem to have any holes. 
but it's really heavy. Should be worth minimum 30. And finally, or not finally, this is the first half of the haul. We still have an entire bag to get through, but this is finally for me. An REI, not technically puffer jacket, but in a women's size large for 48. And this has flaws, but this type of outerwear from these relatively middling outdoors brands is probably worth it. it has that there. I think that might be a burn, but it should be safe money. REI is a decent brand. Um, the only brand, middling brand, that I probably wouldn't pick that up from would be Columbia because Columbia is really oversaturated for that type of stuff. Okay. Yeah, I would say maybe that's the first two thirds, but I have another big bag here. This is a vintage Wrangler outerwear jean jacket vest. 100% sell through on these, should sell for 25 pretty big bolo uh, Wrangler or Levi's this type of anything like that that looks like this with the plaid interior and the the heavy denim and also one thing these adjustable waists I think you might be able to call those trucker jackets or trucker trucker jean vests I don't know that type of aesthetic from Wrangler or Levi's pretty much a guaranteed buy for me as long as it's you know not ripped to shreds or crazy overpriced a marmot hoodie in a size XL, potentially women's, but I think it's men's. It's I'm, It might be a sun hoodie as well because it's really lightweight for $4.88. Easy buy. Oh gosh, okay. Another, see, I'm telling you, a lot of these outdoor brands finds because the, I told you the outerwear section was absolutely stocked to the brim. Mountain hardware, fleece. Is this a full zip or a quarter zip? Quarter zip. 488. 488. Um, this is a brand that I've heard is good. I don't know if it's good. I'm testing the waters out. This is a circuit jersey from this brand, Bon Traeger. This is one of the better cycling jersey brands I've heard. The sell through was not great, but the prices were around 25 at the bottom. It's a cycling jersey, circuit jersey. Um, testing it out only cost me $4.13. So, yeah, not really that big of a risk. This has pilling on it. I may or may not decide to get a sweater shaver finally, but it is Prana. And it says sustainable quality, built for the journey. I don't know. Again, pretty safe. Prana, except for the long sleeve. And I guess the short sleeve button-up shirts for men. Pretty safe. This is one of my favorite things to find to quick flip. Russell Dry Power 360 in the size pretty much XL and up t-shirts. These athletic shirts I never hang on to. They sell for not that much money, maybe $13, $14 plus shipping, but go ahead, get out of my store every time. I've never held on to one of these for more than like three or four days. One of my favorite bread and butter pieces to find, a vintage Wrangler plaid Pearl Snap Western shirt. This is the first one I've found that's short sleeve actually, um, but shouldn't matter. Should still flip for 20 plus shipping there. In that vicinity. Um, made well. White jeans with something cut off from them. I'm not sure what it is. These are the nine inch high rise skinny, skinny jeans. Um, so skinny, skinny, maybe not the greatest. And 27 tall. Weird size. Skinny is maybe not the greatest thing to find, but they're white. And they're only four bucks. So I wasn't going to say no. This was a brand that is exasperating because I keep finding it and it keeps being overpriced for some reason. I don't know where they overpriced it, but this is a windbreaker, almost bomber jacket from this brand, Lifted Research Group. Should be worth minimum 25, probably 30 or 40 realistically, but sell through is not crazy. So I may just price it down to move it. Um, Adidas sweatpants for 375. What persuaded me here was that these are Notre Dame. Oh, wait, there they are. Sweatpants. That should be enough of a uniqueness that it won't get completely destroyed by the sheer amount of listings. And it will get visibility. Almost done here. Carbon to Cobalt. Didn't look this up because it is a good brand in a size XL. And I don't know if you can read that, but it's 10% cashmere as well. So that should be pretty safe. Has stains on it, but it should wash out. 
almost done here. These were all on new clothing racks, which they pulled out several of. These are a whole bunch of Athleta leggings and uh, one skirt, size 2, for $375. did not bother to look up, up Athleta for that cheap. It's not something I'm going to look up. This one was extra, extra small, so not the greatest size either, but it's got this geometric, abstract, maybe borderline Aztec pattern. Easy money. And finally, an athletic, uh, athletic skirt, size extra small, with this geometric design for half off of five and then 25% off that. Okay, that was my entire haul. Cost took me 20 minutes and I was going pretty fast. If you can do this, good luck. Good luck not <laughs> selling well. Good luck not getting a death pile. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Bye.